everyone, welcome back to Floating Simulator. By that I mean raft. <laughs> um, since the last episode, I've gone ahead and I've expanded our raft a little bit. We're now uh, a five by five here. I've gone ahead and I've upgraded our tools. Not all of them, but uh, our scrap hook. We now have a metal hook. We've got the metal ax as well. I made a fishing rod so we get a little bit of food. And we need to upgrade our spear. Also, I need to cook that. I've gone ahead and I've just added some more storage here. We've been smelting. So you can see I got a little bit of metal going on here. We have gone through our res uh, research. And actually, I think I have one of these. So I smelted up uh, some vine goo. So we can put this in here. We can unlock our, oh, a bunch of stuff actually. Our water bottle, our bow and arrows, uh, cooking pot. So now we can get our circuit boards and we get our receiver and our antenna so we can start getting to the bigger islands but we're actually about to hit a big island here uh we're gonna have to upgrade our tools and start like our uh our attack tools or weapons i guess attack tools is that really what i just said our weapons uh so that we can you know actually go on this island and we're gonna have to fight birds and boars and stuff i, I think i can't tell if there's a bird on this island there's probably gonna be the warthog boar things and all that good stuff on here so I'm gonna get prepared for that. And today what I'd like to do is I'd like to get our receiver set up, our second level started. I want to expand our raft, probably out by five. I want to make this a five by 10, I believe. And I really want to start putting down our nets. We need to start making a whole bunch of simple collection nets and making a row of them across the back here and, and really get started with that. But I'm going to, can I make a anchor? We could start working on the big anchor, but I don't, really know if we need it quite yet uh some stones Ooh, just enough i'm gonna make a temporary anchor for now put this here and we're gonna go i just threw that without even realizing we we're on this island i don't know why but we're gonna start exploring this island once i make a metal spear okay there is a stupid bird here that drops rocks in your head oh i hate these things but thankfully i made a bow and arrow so I should be able to uh, do some damage to it. I don't know when, ooh, chest. Um, I don't know when these, that had a lot of bolts in it. I don't know when these uh, little traders were added, but we don't have, all these things take these trash cubes and I don't actually know if we can make anything with that yet. So I think we need, um, it's like a recycle or something it's called. And yeah, I don't think we can make it yet. I think we need to have our circuit boards first uh, before we can make it. Then you can make these trash cubes and you can trade them, uh, trade them for items, right? So you can trade it for, for you know, simple fish bait or whatever. And ooh, air horns. <laughs> um, and then you can sell stuff. So if you get like these uh, simple baits, you can use it to get tier one fish which are all these, which you can sell, and they'll give you coins as well as reputation. Then you can get the tier two and then the tier three, etc. And you can get like a, you know, titanium or advanced scarecrows or fridge, all kinds of trading post cassette, huh. uh, extra blueprints, all kinds of different things you can get. You know, there's the fishing hat, which would be cool to get. Um, so that's something we'll have to look at in the future. But for now, we need to, there's a little goat. Uh, we need to go kill this boar. Boomba, let's go. I missed. I missed. Ah. Oh, that hurts. So I'm back in our boat. We've been floating a little bit. You can see our island is back there. I got pretty much all the trees and stuff off that I could. I didn't get dirt. I don't. I wasn't worried about that quite yet. But I expanded our storage. I added our first crop plot here and started. We can start growing some trees. I went ahead and I started adding some collection nets. And uh, my plan is to go to this island. Actually, eh, come on. Let's get over there. So what I want to do is I want to expand our raft. I want to extend it out to ten wide. 
would be my goal. Uh, that's kind of the overall dimension I want to use. And then I want to put a row across the back of just these collection nets. And I've added these ones off the side here for now, just because the shark hopefully will attack those more often than this. It's kind of a hopefully a deterrent for him. Hit this. All right, so then from here, we need to... I'm going to actually go... We've already researched our copper, I think. So let's see. Can we make a circuit board? Uh, I need vine you right there. All right, circuit board. So I'm going to research this stupid thing. And that gives us our antenna and our receiver. So from here, what we can do now, we can build these, but they're going to take a little bit. Let's see, where are they? Uh, receiver. So it needs a circuit board and some hinges. This also needs a circuit board. So we're going to need to build a couple of things and we need to put it on the second level. So if I do this the way I want, um, I want to build this 10 wide and then put a second floor on part of it. So we need a bunch of plastic and a bunch of wood. So our boat looks really weird right now. Basically, um, our boat's wider than it is long, and that's really odd. Uh, usually you kind of build it like where this would be the back and that'd be the front. But I kind of have this shape in my mind, so I don't want to do this multiple times. So what we're going to do is we're going to start working on our second level. Now, I am going to put some stairs down. So we're going to have this back row um, always with these collection uh, nets, which I've added a few more. And then we're going to make a second row of just planks going out so we can extend this quite a ways. But from here, I want to go one in and put a stairway there. And we're going to end up putting one on this side as well. Now, what I want to do is I want to put a second, like, half stair. So I want to go up and then I think I have to put a floor here. Uh, let's see. Will that work? Let's put uh, a wall right there and then i think we can build this off the wall can we do that i don't remember we'll put a floor here for now and then we'll put our second stair so the reason i'm doing this is i want to do like a wall and a half i want this to be our second floor so we have lots of room um on the inside because eventually once we start doing our engines and stuff i want a big platform underneath where we can have like our pipes running and all that kind of stuff so from here what i'll have to do so I'll probably have to put a half wall there. And then we can start building our floors. I hear it. I hear you, bud. Uh, so we can put our, our floors now, like, up like so. We should really go off of there, there, and that one, I think. And then we'll build this all the way across, and we'll start building it forward. But I gotta extend this out a little bit because it looks really dumb. I don't want this overhanging onto nothing. It looks kind of kind of odd. All right, so our raft is still looking a little ridiculous, but we have our second floor started and we've been expanding forward here. So what I've done is I've moved everything to the other side uh, of this wall, but um, we've made enough space here so we can put. Uh, I think we can put about three of these planters if we don't put doors here. Like I'm thinking, we should put the doors maybe on this side as we expand forward. Um, but for now, they're going to be here, so we can put another planter here if we wanted, or some crops for animals, or whatever we want to do here. Um, I've also moved all of our, like, our older stuff here. Like, these are going to be pretty obsolete pretty much right now. We're, uh, we're going to do the barbecue here in a minute. We're going to do the water purifier as soon as I get three more plastic. Um, I've made enough bricks here again to do a third smelter. So I'm just going ahead and getting a bunch of this stuff. Uh, I need more of this. There. All right, so we get this stuff smelted, and we spent a lot of time kind of free floating. And now that we're getting all these materials, you can see here, all kinds of materials in um, in these collection nets. I've been expanding this forward, so it's, it doesn't look quite as ridiculous once we get going here. Uh, I might stop at this island, but it's time that we work on actually progressing. So what I want to do, we need to make um, our antennas which we need circuit boards, and a need a we need a receiver, which needs also needs circuit boards. So we need what? Two, um, three, four, we need five circuit boards, I believe. And of course, it just has to be raining now, but I've gone ahead, I've made a receiver, so let's just throw this here for now. Uh, we've got three antennas, so let's put one here. We'll put one over here, and I think they have to be two blocks apart from the receiver and two blocks apart from each other. So let's just throw it, let's just try here and see if it works. 
All right, and then we toss a battery in. Uh, too close to another antenna. Okay, so let's move this one. Get off my boat! Every single time I try to do something, he just has to come around and start shooting us. Okay, so anyways, we got our three antennas here. So you can see, we need to go... Wow, I actually didn't... We're going the right direction. You know, I always thought you... I guess it, I always thought you, like, the first island, you had to go against the current. But obviously, that's wrong. So we're actually making our way there. So I'm going to expedite this a little bit. And we're going to start sailing towards it. All right, we've just about made it. We're finally at the... Is this like a, it's like an offshore drilling rig, I guess, but like not a drilling rig. I don't actually know what, what the building is. Anyways, uh, I went ahead and I added our, our uh, permanent anchor as well. No, I'm not a huge fan of these because like we're building this 10 wide and this kind of offsets it. So like, it's not the center block because it needs one hole down. And it, I don't know. It kind of throws off my, uh, my OCD a little bit. Uh, I also went ahead. I made our grill. I made our water purifier. We've got a uh, bottle here. So we've got lots of water. Should be good. Okay, so let's get a little bit closer here. We don't really need to go right up. Eh, we can go right up to it, I guess. All right, the inventory empty. We should be able to get up here and start grabbing. This should have a ton of materials for us. And I don't know if they've added anything new, to be honest. So we're going to have to do uh, a bunch of investigating of pretty much everything here. All right, so we're at the top here and... There's people now? I guess this is how you unlock the other survivors. All right, so we need to grab, let's grab the recycler, pick up this note. Oh, we didn't get the engine. I thought we got the engine here. Um, so we've got, we've got the Vagasata, however you pronounce this stupid word. Uh, we got the coordinates for that, so we can start heading there. We've also got blueprints for our headlamp and our recycler. So uh, yeah, that's all we need to do here. Let's head back down and uh, start heading towards those coordinates, I guess. Okay, the coordinates are 75, 44. We'll turn this on. Seven, five, 44. All right, so we need to go that away quite a ways. At the last stop, we were able to learn the pattern for this recycler. Now, it's fairly expensive. I mean, it takes four metal ingots and two uh, either bolts or hinges, but uh, I think it's worth it. So what I want to do, we're, uh, we're going to craft this, and we're actually up at one of those, uh, one of the big islands here. So we're going to drop this down. You can see on our little thing here, we're at one of these like green islands. So it's one of these like giant ones. There's going to be a bird on here. There's probably going to be a boar. I'm assuming there's going to be um, one of these trade posts. And what this does, if you take this, from what I know, if we put this uh, every time I record, he has to attack. Every, it never fails. I don't think it's failed yet. All right, I'm going to toss this here for the moment. All right, let's do the battery. We'll put this down. All right, so now if I take this, I should be able to put, I think it's 50 items. So you just fill this, and you can use any raw material. So we'll just use palm leaves, because we have a ton of them. All right, well, let's just use them all. What the hell? We've got lots. we got lots of ropes. I'm not really worried about this at the moment. Let's just fill this thing up. And basically what's going to happen is it's going to produce a scrap block, which we can... Or a trash block. Remember? Okay, so whatever that number was, it looked like it's like 100. Okay, it's a lot more palm leaves than I want. Uh, I didn't really want to use all our scrap, but that's fine. So this is going to do its thing, and it's going to uh, pump out a little cube of scrap, which we could then trade with on the island and get some... I think we start with just bait. That way we can, you know, get better fish, and then we can start trading and hopefully get our rep up. I was right. So there is one of these trading things here. So we've got one trash cube, which I'm going to use to get simple bait. Uh, I mean, obviously we could use it to get plastic or wood or anything like that, but I'm not worried about that yet. We're not really doing any, like, real cooking. Well, we can't anyways. We need coins. So we have to trade and sell stuff to get this. So let's do this. And the only things you can sell so far are different types of, of fish. So let's take some simple bait and we're going to have to go fishing before we leave this island, I guess. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Every great game has the ability to fish. I don't know why, but every, every game has the ability to fish. Uh, it's crazy. All right. So we got one more, one more fish to get here, which we should have right now. All right. So that's net nibbler okay a sharp carp and a couple of glow shrimp 
All right, let's trade these in and let's see what we get. Okay, so if we sell these, where's the sell? Ugh. All right, two of these, so we get, oh, only 10 rep and we need 300. Wow, that's, oh, that's gonna take a minute. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I would love to have a yacht like this. Not stuck in the rocks though. That would be, that'd be terrible. All right, so I've gone ahead. I've made our headlamp. Uh, I've got enough tools here. I got a brand new bow with 14 metal arrows. I think I have some scrap arrows still actually as well. Uh, I'm just making some more food. I have scrap arrows right there. I'll take those as well. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through here. We're gonna clear this out. It's not a bad, like not very long to clear this thing out. All right, well, we'll start going through the back of the boat here. Uh, I'm only gonna put the headlamp on. It's probably gonna be pretty dark for you guys, but I'm only gonna put the headlamp on kind of when I need it, which is kind of right now, to be honest. Uh, so I do believe if I remember correctly, there's gonna be rats and stuff in here and tons of scrap and materials. Okay, the crowbar's there. We'll get that. Can I pick this up? Oh, uh, we got I some notes here. And I think we turn that on. Yeah, okay, that turns the light on. Can only hope you come to All right, use the crowbar. Let's get through here. I knew the city was a failure, Ruben. Why oh, yeah, there's our first rat. Stop it. Bolt cutter, okay. They're like jack? Oh, there's a key. Okay, that's the red key. Eve. Um. Military. All right, red key Order used. The very least be practical. There's only really one rat down here? I thought there'd be more. Okay, so there's a mechanical part. Uh, another note, bolt cutters, we need those. Okay, so we need five mechanical parts to put, oh, and wires, lighter, gas tank, and a bullet for this one, okay. All right, bolt cutters used. Note, the blue key, okay, let's use the blue key to go uh, upstairs. That's one of those damn rats. What? So many rats what in the... Are you doing okay, so there's Get the out. safe. We need the four-digit code, and there's a rat. Oh, my God. That scared the crap out of me. I was listening to the rats in the recording. The little noise they're making. That actually scared me. <laughs> Mechanical parts. Okay. Uh, anything out here? Another mechanical part in the pool. Oh, and there's the bullet. That requires a key card. We need to go empty our inventory. Okay, there's the other mechanical part. Okay, so we can go now. We can go back downstairs and create that. But I, yeah, we're like full, full, full. So I'm gonna, hmm, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna get the rest of this plastic. Ooh. There's the four digit code. Okay, so that's the safe. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run back, empty our inventory, and then come back up here because we need the mechanical part to open, I think it's the door on the next floor up if I remember correctly. Okay, there's the hydraulic jack made, and here's the safe code. Ooh, electrical wires. You know, I really should pay more attention to this story because I feel like there's something really, really sinister afoot and it's super interesting. And I keep like not listening to the notes. <laughs> uh, okay, up here we've got somewhere. Oh, there's the key card, okay. Okay, so we should be able to use the jack on this. We should hopefully not die from this stupid thing. Oh, that's a crazy amount of... Okay, well, this is just stupid. Oh my god, please hit him. Okay, that didn't go how I thought it was supposed to go. But to these anonymous key card. Able to further corroborate his story. Okay, so this is the green key. Um, where was the green key door? That one requires the explosives. Okay, green key. So many rats. That is a crazy big bathtub. There's nothing in here, okay. 
Okay, um, we're looking for... There we go, the lighter. Wow, okay. Get to the lifeboats! Hurry! Olof, you coward! <laughs> Jesus. Watch out! <laughs> okay, so we should be able to go back down now and make the explosives, which takes us up to the top level, and we can blow open the door that's blocked, I do believe. All right, one bomb. All right, well, our headlamp is about to be uh, destroyed, so let's use the bomb here. Nice. Is there rats up here? Because I have a broken spear. Okay, perfect. Steering wheel, the engine. Oh, it's perfect. And there is our next island code as well. All right, uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's everything on this island, or on the on the boat here. And the engine's made, we've got our steering wheel. Now, unfortunately, I think, um, let's, well, let's just put this here. So we'll put our steering wheel there so we can actually like figure out our directions now. If we look to here, I've put the code in. We've gotta go 3,600 pretty much exactly behind us which is gonna take a little bit because we've only got one engine. And unfortunately, I think because of the size of our raft, I actually need to get two engines, which I wanna have anyway, so it's a, a little bit faster of a of a drive, I guess you could say. Um, but I'm out of materials. Uh, I've got no more, I need, uh, what do we need here? I need two more metal ingots. Literally every time. That's right, jerk face the waste of an arrow but whatever um so i need more metal in order to do this and i want to also put so my plan is to put these kind of like off the side but i want to reinforce these as well because if he breaks those we lose you know the entire engine uh for now i'm gonna put this here though and i think guys i think we've made some pretty good progress today and that's where i'm gonna call this episode so i really hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure that like button if you have any comments suggestions anything please feel free to leave them in the comment section and as always I'll see you next time.